All right everyone, I am back with another video. Today we check out the new game series with the elements of interactive cinema and cyberpunk sensation called Uncleanness. The Uncleanness is an indie game in the cyberpunk genre. I especially like the technical part, that is the game looks great and works great for its level. In 2080, the mankind faced the inevitability of land, flooding as a result of the global warming. But even then, nobody could expect that it would happen so fast. By the Christmas of 2097, the area of the land had reduced 10 times. By then, the governments completely lost the opportunity to control people with liberal methods. As a consequence, military dictatorship was introduced to oppose crime syndicates. I believe this is the early stage. And in future, the developers will improve their product and bring it to AAA level. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and do not forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cold. Lousy cold was piercing every inch of me. It was the most lousy time of the year. Rain mixed with snow, mud and slush were penetrating everywhere. Sometimes, it seems to me that the weather adjusts to my depressive soul. Have you, my friend, ever felt like your life has lost its point and only close, inevitable death can satisfy you? Maybe such thoughts have occurred to you only for a moment, but I never stopped thinking about it, never in my dreams. My mind was full of thoughts and empty at the same time. But I just could have had one too many. After all, it doesn't matter. Now, stranger, I will tell you my story. I don't look for your understanding, but you may learn something new. Wait, how did I get here? A small, dirty street near the central. Once a famous hotel and a lousy cesspool today was the last memory of mine. But... It was so long ago. Could someone decide to take his own life? I thought. I had no time to think. Maybe my soul is reducing to ashes, but I can't remain indifferent.
Don't move. I don't want to die. In breaking news, a SWAT lieutenant has committed suicide. No death note was found, and the circumstances of his death are being clarified. We will keep you informed about the investigation. Being on the roof, I saw him for the first time, but his face seemed painfully familiar to me. I have always been careful with my connections, but 
No matter how hard I racked my brain, I could not realize how I had known him. Versions. Suicide under pressure. It is a good idea to find out if he has any relatives, and what are other ways to manipulate him. Drugs and other psychoactive substances. It is necessary to study the contents of his blood, and as soon as possible. His body must be in the city morgue. Severe stress. Work. Family. Health. Money. But why did he tell he did not want to die? Dr. Chris. Once he was a high-priced surgeon. Today he is void of his glory. I owe much to him. I feel uncomfortable every time I turn to him. I'll always be deeply in his debt. However, when I saw him, it was clear that he was glad to see me. Kind and wise look. I hope he understands that I come to him not only when I need something. I really appreciate him. He is like a father to me. For a second, I felt like smiling, but I did not manage to for some reason. Hello. Sorry, but I got bad news, as usual. You know, I always have time for you. You must have heard about the lieutenant. Yes, what's that to do with you? I was there. I saw his eyes. They were the victims. If you want to see the eyes of a man willing to die, look at mine. His were different. It was the fear of death, panic, a wish to run. What could it be? I did not expect it. Well, it is not your first day as a detective. Have you experienced something like this before? No. I've lied. I've seen it, but it was so personal that I was embarrassed to tell. <sighs> it was five years ago. A woman knocked at my door. The first thing I noticed when I opened the door was a heady aroma of her perfume. It indicated a vamp. 
The woman who never stops until she gets what she wants and catches a person's mind. I saw through her. You must be Stan, aren't you? Yeah, I'm all Liz. She entered before I could answer. For a moment, it seemed to me that my home became lighter and more comfortable. Everything is here. I think you have already understood it. I want my husband to be removed like a pawn from a chessboard. I want him into purgatory or dead. It does not matter. I am interested only in his property. <laughs> you must be crazy. You should find another contractor. You could just leave him. I could not. I am scared. Sorry. You can't even imagine what he will do to me if I leave him. It would be a cold day in hell before I believed her tears. But even those false tears did not leave me alone. I started to think I had been wrong. I agreed to her terms. My instincts were crying I should kick her out. But it was not her husband who worried me. I'm not even herself. It was an egoist inside me who hoped to see her again one day. I took that damn envelope, and as soon as she closed that door, I poured a glass of whiskey and emptied it in one gulp. Yeah, like obsessed, I gave up everything. But I found compromising information about her husband. It was six years ago. He was pushing drugs while he was in the underworld. The case was considered to be a dead duck because there was no evidence, but I found the lead. I played with loaded dice. Beat evidence is out. I learned everything. I saw police taking him to purgatory. Yeah, purgatory. The people who were there once would rather die than return there. They went crazy, lost everything. I'm afraid to imagine what's going on inside this repressive state machinery. <sighs> After I had finished, I went to the given address. I felt that very perfume before I entered. When I opened the door, I saw her wearing a snow white bathrobe. <laughs> Angels must look like her. She smelled better than a million of tea roses. Her eyes were more beautiful than all the brilliance on earth. Her voice was nicer than any music. My heart was broken by the thought that she would never be mine. I gave her the envelope with the copy of her husband's sentence. I didn't wait when she would give me the promised payment. I went out and did not say a word. It would be better to forget her. Not to see her again. Just to get drunk and fall asleep thinking of nothing. I knew her husband has never been the despot. More than that, I was sure that he loved her like life itself, but it was not important anymore. I went into the street and what I saw was awful. She fell out of the window in front of my eyes. There was terror in her dead eyes. Her hands were cut. I rushed upstairs to her flat. The door was closed. I kicked it out. Suicide. It seems strange to me. When she came to me, her intentions were not of a person who was going to die. But it is too late to think about it. I was ashamed to lie to my best friend. Maybe I'll tell him the story one day, but I'm afraid to tell such a shameful thing. 
What are you thinking about? Can a blood test determine a psychoactive substance and say whether it could bring to a suicide? I will try to do it if you have the blood, of course. Nowadays, many people suffer death. Why are you so interested? I don't have the blood, but I'll get it. Just professional's interest, you know? It's always exciting to take something up. Sorry, Doc. I have to go.